Seems to be working pretty good. I can't hold my hand in the focal point. That's a good sign. If you put it right in the focal point, it like burns you instantly. Right up underneath the grilled cheese. Hey there, this is just a quick video to show you how to make this parabolic solar concentrator. Just takes a couple items, the cardboard and glue, some poster board, that's the white you see, and the tin foil or aluminum foil. That'll make a three foot diameter dish. Okay, so to draw a parabolic curve, you just need a couple of things. You need the guide bar at the top, like a round wooden dowel thing. That's just a broomstick handle. A couple of push pins and some twine. So here's the start of it. You decide where you want the focal point to be. I wanted the focal point to be 18 inches out. So as you can see, this is going to be the bottom of the rib right here. So the, the bottom of the parabola is going to swing right by there at the 18 inch mark. So you measure 18 inches up if you want to, uh, or whatever you want the focal point to be, and put a pin in there. Then you take a length of string that reaches back and forth to the, um, the guide bar. And you put that all the way to the 18 inch mark from there, like so. Okay, and here's the setup again. I lowered the bar just a little bit, braced it with some bricks. That'll keep the guide bar from moving. All you gotta do, remove this pin, go like this. And then very carefully, keeping this straight, slide this along until it reaches the pen. That's all there is to it. I'm going to go back and forth a few times just to get a nice good line. And the focal point will be right here. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the rib. There you go. Now I'll cut about 31 more and we'll be set to put this together. Okay, here's the start of it. It's just the four fins right now, and 28 more to go. I'll put them all around like that. Okay, and it's easy to make the notch on this thing. These fins I cut are two inches right there. So just make a little cut right in the center at the one inch mark. Actually, you're gonna make two cuts. Go in a couple inches and then make a little cut right below it. Just enough so the CD will slide right in there. And as you can see, that's perfect. It'll slide right onto the CD. The more you use, the smoother the parabolic dish will be. Okay, now just go ahead and glue each piece down. Just go along the bottom, put a strip of glue, put it in, slide it in there. Just like that. Okay, now I just cut a circular reinforcement. That's the same size as the CD.
there, here, here, and then install the fins accordingly around. Goes pretty quick once you get moving. Okay, the next thing I wanted to do was give the parabolic dish a nice smooth finish. So I went ahead, went to Walmart, bought three pieces of slick poster board. But there's the start to it, just glue them in. It'll give you a nice smooth parabolic uh, curve. And then finally put the foil over that. Okay, last step, just going to put the Reynolds wrap on it and we'll see how it works. So three Home Depot boxes, three pieces of poster board, and Reynolds wrap. There's just a quick comparison to the professional version. If I could mirrorize the one on the left, the one I made, to the same as that one, it would have the same cooking power exactly. Which, by the way, that cooks just like a regular stove burner. Better than spending 250 to 400. A lot of the parabolics you can buy now, anywhere from about two or 250 up to 400 bucks. Okay, here it is outside. Seems to be working pretty good. I can't hold my hand in the focal point. That's a good sign. As you move it up, see how it's getting brighter and brighter and brighter, and ow, right in there. I'm keeping it out of the main. If you put it right in the focal point, it like burns you instantly. Okay, that's really far in there. Now let's move out and watch how it gets brighter. Right up underneath the grilled cheese. And this is like... It's like 5.30 or 6 in the afternoon. The sun's really low in the sky right now. Just for reference, it's kind of windy out here, and this thing's holding up pretty good. It's heavy enough that it's not moving much. And extra heavy-duty tinfoil, or heavy-duty tinfoil on there. Working good.